Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Neil Aus and I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. This is the very first episode of a brand new series that I'm calling Angels Tutorials. So this is a kind of a combination of a playthrough with Angels Mods. It's also an introduction a tutorial series. So there will be some gaps in this and I'll focus a lot on the designs and how to build it. This very first episode is about getting started in Angels Mods. First, let's just uh, briefly explain what Angels Mods is. It is a total overhaul of the game. If you are not familiar with it, this is a great place to start, I hope. And so this is a total um, overhaul that's built on top of another total overhaul that's called Bob's Mods. So basically, it is a big pack of many mods, 20 plus uh, mods that completely change the game and make it much more complex, much more fun. These, those two things go hand in hand. And this series will walk us through the different phases of game. Every time there's something new and exciting, how to build, I'll come with my recommendation. I am a bit cautious about uh, calling this one uh, Angels, uh, Angels Mods uh, Done Right, because there are many, many different ways of doing it. And there's arguably some that are better than others, but there are also many just different paths to the same thing, which makes it very interesting. But this is uh, me trying to go through this as explain it. I have about 1500 hours of playtime in Angels Mods, more or less. I think that's about right. At least a thousand hours. And so I'm, I know this mod pack pretty well, despite the fact that it keeps changing. So even if you see something here, uh, Angel is continuously evolving the, the, the mod pack, but it's still, um, it, it's still more or less the same. Let's start with some of the basics as before we dive in. You can already, if you're not familiar with Angels Mods, you will be able to see that something is different here. We have some different types of ore patches. We have this one. The Sapphirite is our primary source of iron. We have this one, the Styrotite, our primary source of copper. We have Bamonium, which is our primary source of tin. Hmm. We have Rubite, that's our primary source of lead. And then you're already like tin, lead, what? We have coal, this is just good old fashioned coal. We have trees out here. We also have crude oil. This is actually producing multi-phase oil. And we have a gas well that produces natural gas. So those are the sort of the raw components. There are two more out here in the world. Uh, two more mineral patches called geolite, that's yellow. And cretinium, that is, what color is that again? Uh, that is uh, white. So what I'd like to show is also some other parts of Angel's Mod. You can see this thing here is a desert tree. So we can chop it down and get immediately get 100 raw wood. That's pretty nice. We can also see a third, third, I don't know how many, but a different option for materials out here. There should be something. Let's just look at the map. Oh, no, kind of. Why can I not see it? Oh, yeah, here it is. This is another little thing that's out there in the world. This is a nice little garden here. There's a garden. This will be something we'll dive into much later. Now let's head back to the starter base because this episode is all about getting started. But I feel that before we can get started on the actual base creation, I should just go through the mods of, uh, of this playthrough just uh, briefly just to show what the idea is. So we're going to do this in a kind of cumbersome way. There are a number of mods, but many of them are convenience. I will also, you can see in the description below the video, there will be a link to a site where all of the mods are linked to them and uh, map seeds and blueprints and all that. That's from my website. So the mods here, Afraid of the Dark, which is basically adding some more lights to the game, better lighting. Uh, this is quite handy when playing, when making a YouTube recording because it gets kind of dark otherwise. Crafting speed research, I'm a filthy handcrafter, so I really want some handcrafting to work here. It's also, there are so many machines in Angel's Mods that it's kind of hard not to end up crafting some of them because it's just going to be a massive arrays just to build several tiers of machines. Victoria NEI, this is a, a guide on how to build things. What is the prerequisite for what? It'll be something I'm going to be using quite heavily just to illustrate what, how and why we built things. Laser beam turrets, just make laser beam turrets nicer. Loader Redux is about these loaders, absolutely brilliant uh, constructions to get things in and out of machines. They don't require uh, don't require energy or electricity, and they can filter 
and they can make a full throughput. They take a bit of space, they're a bit more expensive, but it's a nice balance. I think a logistics train network, I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's a way of controlling the network, uh, the train network. Nanobots, I find this an essential quality of life mod in order when you're building, uh, it's it's basically early bots to get nanobots uh, bots in a different way. And it's really convenient. Then you have Shiny Angel and Shiny Bob. These are just uh, enhancement of the UI for Angels and Bob's bots just to make it look nicer, squeak through to walk through buildings or between buildings. Vehicle snap to make me drive in a straight line because I'm a lousy driver. And then we go into all the angels mods, silos, petro petrochemical, petrochemical trains, pressure tanks, warehouse, those are convenience. Then we have the bioprocessing. This is about, yeah, the processing of algae into other materials in the industries. This one is a special mod that it gave me some uh, special trains, uh, angels, infinite ore, the ores we see out in the world, petrochemicals, the production of oil and gas compounds, refining how to refine those angels mods in angels ores into different and smelting is also, yeah, also smelting the ores, autofill, putting stuff automatically into uh, entities like turrets when needed, base, uh, then we go into the bobs with a lot of this one, there's a greenhouse we're going to use, bobs is also a big overhaul, you see a lot here, even distribution, this is a very nice convenience mod that makes when you put things into multiple entities, you can split them evenly. Long reach research. I hate playing without long reach, but I also don't want to play with extreme long reach. So I find long reach research a good compromise where I have to spend uh, research to get it longer and it doesn't come become absurdly long. Nixie tubes. This is a great display of of um, of what's in boxes, so you can display numbers very easily. RSO. This is a in in order to get some decent patches out there in the world. I use RSO, this is resource spawner overhaul. Very nice and text plate just to display things on the map. So let's dive into angels mods. Uh, let's look at the science, for example. This is really, really daunting, but this is why we are here together. So I can help you guide through what we need to build and what we do not need. It's actually quite frightening even for me when I look at it. Uh, also construction wise, there's a lot of things to construct. The very first thing we want to do, and let's just dive into that one immediately. We are going to start with the Sapphirite. The idea here is the Sapphirite, there are, in Angels Mod, there are different processes. Some of the processes are really simple. You can see here the five raw wood that gets inserted is something that happens because of the mod pack. There we go. So I have my burner inserter putting into a new machine here, an ore crusher that outputs Sapphirite. And it outputs the crushed Sapphirite and crushed stone. Then those are my materials moving further and I'm going to build it in here. That is just, you can see here, we get the crust. What I'm doing is I'm just control clicking those and then I put it in here. It'll take three crust sapphirite and then it'll produce two stones. So it's a ratio of three crust stone to two uh, iron. That's pretty okay recipe. What you can also see here is that I can take my crushed stone and somehow I can glue it together into stone. Uh, that kind of doesn't really make sense to me, but it that's the way it works. We're just going to chop the stone so we get some stone to get that ball rolling. I am going to build a usual one, two, three, and then we are just going to get enough. You can also, one of the key points here in, now I'm going to display even distribution. This is a burner, this is a burner, this is a burner. So if I hold control down and push the left button, uh, the right hand button outside of this and drag over, you can see those icons. And then after one second, it takes half of what I have of the content and splits between them. If I did it with the control left hand, it would take all of it and split between them. But this one is really nice. I can take it out again. Now at this point, I can use another feature of even distribution shift control uh, shift C, and then just put things into machines that are nearby. Now, can we build this one? Nope. This is the one we absolutely need. This is the first thing we want to build. There we go, because that will enable us to scale this one up faster. Right in the beginning of the game, it's all about scaling. It's all about scaling this up. So again, pick these up, shove them in here. You know, I can actually put them in here. It will not put things into an empty machine, but it will put things into other machines like this. Okay, so that one's done. I don't know if I want two of those. Uh, I'd rather want 
more of these and then we put here copy paste and we are gonna get some more iron oh i have to get used to this i can get one more crusher great actually that's not correct here yeah this is just the way i build it usually and i can also just do this one control and then it puts even amounts into each of them pick it up now at this point it's just it's all about the scaling up here and uh, what is it again it's this one yep keep going we are going to run out of things to to work here yeah and can i just shift c no not quite these ones are using quite a lot more so here put it in no you want all of these to work there you go so now i'm actually getting quite a bit of iron that's very nice i will go out to get more stone mm, yeah because stone is actually yeah uh, you know what i shouldn't be needing stone should i one of those and what is it more iron i actually need to get some some coal going and that means this one is just running now but i need some coal these two i should probably not have picked them up immediately because i uh, I need it. So, yay, chopping, chopping coal. There we go. Seed it. When you put them like this, they will feed each other and eventually they'll build up a bit of a surplus. Now I need to go back here, keep these running. At the beginning of the game, this is very much all there is to it. And iron is much more important because I don't need, I don't need uh, any copper until I build the offshore pump. One, two, three, four. These are always, uh, well, actually that's not correct that one I'd rather have one of these as well and this one nope that was nope and shift C pick up whatever there is nothing build it here these two great copy paste these two no and now we're running out of let's see one, two. Yeah. I'm going to build these over here because I need more coal at this point. And I also don't want to spend too much time running over here. So that's totally incorrect. There we go. So I got a bit of coal here. And we go back again. So the starting, the early game is, I'm not going to say frustrating, but it's uh, here we can go. Now I need to switch everything to coal based. You can see here it takes all my coal when I hold control click and click over it. You have like 0.9 seconds, I think. And you can see how easy it is. Now that just pick things up and then shift C, it automatically goes into wherever it needs, right? Uh, let's see, one, two. Definitely, I want, uh, generally speaking, I think I want four of these to get the ball rolling. And yeah. And they're not working. One, two. I think I really, really, really need more two, these guys. So now I have four more. These, and that will. I think I'll keep us going over here. What I, one thing that's really, really important about this playthrough that I didn't even remember to mention early is the fact that I have disabled biters. I have done some things with my settings. Okay, so what I have done is I've disabled biters because this is about a design challenge. This is not about killing biters. There aren't anything in Angel's Mod that has any interaction with biters, so there's really not po any point in, in going into that part. Um, Angel Bob's has Bob has new enemies, but I don't honestly find it that fun. And after an initial walkthrough, I'll actually end up being uh, just having to kill those off camera. And that's no fun. Here, again, pick things up. And then, oops. Get them in there. That's another way, even distribution. And pick these up again. Great. So now we have a lot of iron, a lot of everything, which is nice. I'm going to make two more. Three more, actually. And over here, I'm going to want two. All right, so that's clearly not enough. Shift in. Get it. And I really need, do need one more. So the problem here is that if I put it up here, it's not going to work. 
I wanted to just take it off the side, uh, but I do need more because otherwise it's let's see, just shift half of it in and let's see one two one two. Shift C, then it puts in. It actually has the potential to put it in at a longer range than I can put in myself. So, I don't know. Is that cheaty? Alright, so there's three of those. There's one, two, three, four. That goes with these. That's six. And then we just need more stone. This is about building the residual or the remaining what I need. Unfortunately, I have to build it differently than the other ones. That's poor planning, isn't it? Go, go, go. These guys. Shift C just to put it in here. Really? Get it. And here. I'll take that one here. Good. And I don't have any. Here. That one. Good. Now I just do this one so that these get started. Get it. Get, get, get. Shift C, put it in here. And what else? We have four plus two plus one. One, one, two, one, two. There we go. That will give us enough for what is really important. If you look at the hardness, this is mining hardness one and mining time 1.5. If you look here, this is mining hardness 1.5 and mining time two. So the stereotype is a lot harder than uh, that's not a good idea because that's actually not in sight. These are not there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is, I guess this is too much. But I ha always have a tendency to forget that they are a lot harder. They have ha more hardness. Here. Good. And now we go up and get some coal because these ones should have accumulated a lot of coal. And once we are at this point, now we have the basics iron and copper to get us going i'm going to take half of this put it into all of these let's see so control right click hover over and you need to get touch all of them within 0.9 seconds of the last one there we go they're now working and they are starting they got the first spin i'm gonna take it give it one more spin there we go and then Get it in here. No, the other half as well. There we go. Good. So they are. Some of them are actually working. And then shove it in. We get our very first copper coming out. Come on, give us more copper. Excellent. Shift Z. And we are now at the position. Okay. So at this point, I think maybe I can do Shift Z. No, I cannot, unfortunately. Now let's see if I can do this efficiently. Ah, damn it. So I didn't get all of them, so that... Here. Go, 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 go. Shift C. Great. So now I have a lot of things that I can start working on the next part. The next part is definitely the power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why did I take six of those? That means I need eight of these. That's probably a bit much. I also need... Oh, right. Huh. I shouldn't have used all mine because this is part of it. If you look at electronics is hugely more complex in angels mods. And one of the things that it, it requires is actually it needs wood because it needs wooden board, wooden boards in order to make it. So the green circuits of vanilla game are actually changed into some different types. It's changed into basic circuits and basic electronic boards. So that you need for two things. So every one, tier of electronics in the base game is becoming two tiers in Angel and uh, Bob's mods. Meaning that we have the green one becomes the basic circuits and basic electronic boards. The red one becomes, oh no, it's not a good way of doing it. Red one becomes, uh, can I even remember it? It becomes advanced circuit board. I can't remember. They changed all the time or the names, but these here, one, two, then I'll Created from wood becomes raw wood becomes wooden board becomes wooden boards becomes these things. Yeah, let's pick this up and shift C so we get it in here. Very, very convenient. I'm gonna get some more power here because it's also important. 
that we do not actually great they do not by accident make a just need a bit here and again and shift c for this one got it and let's see what do we need? we need additional here great and i need some pipes i hate using iron pipes i really want to use uh, stone pipe but i can't use that yet again i know i'll build it here Okay, that's an awful lot of things that I want to craft here. Okay, I'm gonna wait with this and just build it afterwards. Is it five more? Yeah, I have six, seven plus five. Yeah, that's good. Because I want this one. Let's see. I think this is fine. And I want it to have some distance. And then I built sort of my usual thing. Also here I need copper. There we go. And let's get some power poles. Power poles, we also play, always place them here. And I think this is the way I always do it. And the reason is, ah, about to put in down a ghost and I won't be doing any anything because I can then take some inserters here and they can put it in. So just take half of it in here. And again, I don't know why. I built it this big. That's just out of a habit. Now don't do don't make mistakes in the first episode. Don't make any silly mistakes at least. Mistakes are fine, but don't make any silly mistakes. There. So now we actually have power. And this is a squeak through means that I can walk through these. There we go. We have power. Oops. That's pretty neat. Let's walk it up here. I am not the person who shifts to electric the fastest because I really want this one to keep going. And let's see. So I want basically all of these to be fit as well. See, as long as you can start hit something here, boom. Is it still powered by wood? That's a bad idea. Are you also powered by wood? No, you're just whatever, out of range. Let's get this one. Let's get these. And now we can start seeing we are getting more materials than we can actually spend. That's great. And this is then the time where we start making sort of the usual things we need. Okay, basic circuit boards. Fine. It needs copper. This is why we actually built the copper. And shouldn't I have two more? Yes, please. Let's go up and get some more fuel for the copper belts. Like this all right so we can complete this one i don't think it's necessary but i like it for a sense of completion here and let's see all of these also you my friend yes there we go boom that's half of it into everything and get these three shift it in here ah damn it and get the copper great so what are we building we're building two of these and we are also building some, let's pick. Good. Now we're building some stuff. You can see here, there's a lot of crafting for the basic circuits, but this is what we start by doing. So up here, we can always just spend any idle time. Shift. What we always want to do first is always automation because that helps us. Afterwards, it's gonna be mechanical refining, but automation first. Let's also start building one, two, these when needed. Let's get, I can't remember how, there is a way to do this, I think, efficiently. Not this one. Uh, this one will go from an assembler, but that's something we do at a later stage. We should be getting this one. There's some, uh, 
yes, handcrafting is essential in the beginning until we get sort of the basics. You know, I don't need a lot of these. I really want to get into my science because as soon as we get the science, then we can start saying, all right, we got the science. That's a, also a great place to end for the first episode is after we get science. So also you can see here the how much crushed stone we'll need to glue this together. What always happens when using even distribution is this part, the stone furnace. All right, so basically if we are just uh, recapping on what we've learned so far, we have learned that sapphire can become iron, stereotype can become copper quite easily, but it needs to go through the, process, the crushing phase and in the crushing part, it will, there you go. In the crushing, it will also generate a lot of crushed stone that we can somehow glue together into some uh, regular stone. And that we can then use for a lot of the crafting processes. Now we need these guys, so the automation, let's get that up and running because then we can just build our automated science because why wouldn't we want more science? Would of course, shift C and get the copper out as well. I can also shift C here and it also puts it in here. I love even distribution. It's such a nice convenient mod. You can just stand around and just shift C and then it puts it in. You have to be somewhat careful sometimes Somewhat careful sometimes. Well, it didn't. What I'll also do sort of between sessions once we end up the very first episode is just make some some indicators for myself on where I want my future city blocks because of course I'm going to build some kind of city block based setup here. There we go. And we should have automation which will enable us to build something more. Let's build a few of these because we are definitely needing those for the automation. Let's also get another one of those and some few more inserters. That is the automation and we will move straight into the mechanical refining because we're going to need that really fast. Actually, is logistics fat more important? It might be. But this is one thing that's really important. Once you get this, you need basic electronics board and they are not easy to make. They are very difficult to make. And that's why you just have to be uh, aware of it. Um, I need one, two, three, four. And I don't need all of these guys. Because I want my science to be built automatically. Come on. It do, does need quite a few of these. And I just need two of them, I guess. That's the only real way to end the first episode whenever you do a Let's Play. That is, you must get science up in the first episode. That one, that one, that one. One of those, one of those, there we go. Let's have a look. This is very, very slow, but it will get us to what we need. We have now, come on, build the science for us. Be happy. Boom, we have science. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this one here. So what we have now, we have the very basic smelting. We are gonna, Take on the next time we are going to be working on initial smelting part. This is a bit getting things more a bit complicated, making it, I'm not going to say making it a bit more complicated, but it will become a bit more complicated as we start scaling up. So I hope you've been enjoying the first episode and I sincerely hope that you will be clicking the next button to jump into the next episode so you can see what kind of shenanigans we start building. So this is just how to get started on Angel's mods. And the next, next time we're going to build the initial smelting. So thank you for joining. Hope you'll be checking back. Be sure to leave that uh, like below. It's very important for the first episode, especially that we get some nice fancy likes so it becomes more likely to be recommended to someone else. So thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Cheers.